The Art Institute began in 1985, and it was started by Pony Alt and William Lumpkins, two pillars of the community and pillars of the cultural community. And they felt very strongly that Santa Fe was somehow isolated, and it needed to have a, a more regular flow of ideas and, and people that would bring different ways of thinking to Santa Fe in terms of arts and culture. And so they started this wonderful program that every summer would invite just amazing artists like Richard Diebenkorn or Louise Bourgeois to come to Santa Fe and spend the whole summer living in a wonderful little casita and having this glorious studio and artists from Santa Fe and then it developed that artists from all over the country would come and sort of work with them in studio like an atelier. And in the mid-90s when John and Ann Marion came to Santa Fe, they decided that one of the things that would be wonderful would be to make the Santa Fe Art Institute a year-round program and revitalize that energy, bringing these wonderful people to Santa Fe. And so they built this glorious building that you're sitting in and that we love to come to work in, developed um, according to the program for the Art Institute and designed by uh, the Mexican architect Ricardo Legareta. So right now I, as I mentioned, deal with the marketing press and PR for the Art Institute, which has been nice this year, thank you all you news organizations, and um, manage the residency program. So I have the absolute joy and pleasure every month of meeting a whole crop of new artists from around the world who practice in every kind of medium you can imagine, and not just meeting them, but living here with them. I mean, I, I don't live here at night, but I'm here a third of my day every day. I have breakfast with them in the kitchen, we have lunch, we go to events, and it's just such a pleasure to meet and get to know these talented, interesting, emerging people who are using their art to make a difference in the world. During the school year, we are in the public schools, and we are at the junior high and high school levels. And then, of course, with the youth shelter, which is teens as well, they have anywhere from 10 to 17-year-olds there. And, of course, in the detention center, the year-round programs are teens as well. But what's unique with our programs is for anything that we charge, we have sliding scale. And for the summer, I had several um, young kids who stayed with us for the whole summer, completely free of charge with their lunch provided. So we have such a nice mix where you have people who can afford it with no problem at all, but we also have ones who don't have any funding who are transitioning um, from shelters and transitional living spaces where they can come and get the same programs as someone who can afford you know, to pay $400 for two weeks. The Santa Fe Art Institute helps make art accessible. And coming from an art history background, I went to Bard College where um, we were kind of the black sheep of our high schools uh, and we all came together and we all understood that there are other things than what is automatically shown to us. So um, the art history department especially, that's who I was closest with, we all realized that the art world was becoming elitist and not all of us agreed with that. Um, and I remember being told by my advisor, give up your ideals, you'll never find a place. What? And I spoke to Diane about uh, my senior thesis of all things, and she said, you know, we could use your help. And I walked in the door and I went, aha, I don't have to get rid of my ideals. Art does not have to be elitist. Art does not have to be the big white box with very little information. It can be the stories of people, of culture, of history, of personality, of creativity, without making it incomprehensible without making it overbearing or snotty, if you will. Um, this place makes art human.